Uh, hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitzel Tower. Um, today was Sunday, and so you see, my mom, if we, if, for a while now, we have been planning to go to, well actually no, so we've been going to, the, my mom, we've been going to the gym every Sunday, and today, or well, actually no, a while ago, my mother and I, we made plans to go get some ice cream afterwards. Um... And so we went to go get some ice cream after our gym session. I wanted to tell you guys this because I figured that it would be a fun story and I have nothing else to talk about other than this, basically. Um, but basically, so, um, after the gym, we drove and we went to get some ice cream. Initially, I was going to get a salted caramel ice cream Sunday. But then I was just like, oh no, nah, I should get the cookies and cream one instead. And so that's what I did. Um, however, it was, it, was, it was a very sad experience. And I'm going to be telling you guys about how it was such an underwhelming experience. Because, well, actually, it was both amazing and not amazing. Because, you see, I was super excited for it, right? And I ordered it and it was, it was fun. Um, the ice cream overall, it did taste delicious. Except, um, the wait time, it, it was a bajillion ages. Because, you see, this is, like, my favorite ice cream place. Well, I mean, it's not even really an ice cream place. It's just, like, like a gas station. Um, but basically, we, we, like, my mom ordered. And, like, the lady that was working there, um, I think she was new. Because my mom, she asked for the ice creams, right? And the lady, she just stared at us, she just stared at my mom, and she was just like, what? And, like, she didn't understand what we were talking about, and then my mom had to explain to her that we were going to get our ice cream that they sell at the gas station place. Wait, it, it took about 30 minutes. Um. It was just two ice creams, so that was a bit confusing but whatever um and the the lady she did not wear gloves and like usually like i wouldn't usually like complain about this sort of stuff right because i mean i don't really care right but my mom she cared a lot because she is a germaphobe um and because of that my mom was sad and when my mom's sad then that makes me feel uncomfortable as well um but anyways, so the lady, she made our ice creams wrong as well. And that's sad, because like you see my one, like I see because I, I ended up getting the cookies and cream one, right? And yes, it was still delicious and I really liked it, but it, like it, I was a bit disappointed because it didn't have everything on it. Because you see, the cookies and cream sundae, it's supposed to have, um, it has cookies and cream ice cream, dairy whip or whatever. And then it's supposed to have an Oreo, chocolate hail, um, two chocolate fingers, and then, like, chunks of, like, chocolate or whatever on it. With, like, sauce all over it. But the lady, she did, there was no Oreo. And there was no chocolate. It was just the cookies and cream ice cream, the dairy whip, a bit of sauce and some sprinkles, the two chocolate fingers. And a marshmallow fish, which was nice. I really enjoyed it, but still, for well, seven dollars, well, it was actually eight dollars each. Um, it was very underwhelming to say the least. But like, um, and she didn't wear gloves. It was kind of unhygienic. I did feel kind of sick afterwards, but it was still really tasty. And I'm not trying to come off as, like, um, complaining about, because it was delicious, right? It's just that I do feel really sick. Um, my mother, she got a chocolate one. Um, it was supposed to be quite different from the one I got, except it was basically the same thing. Except it had chocolate ice cream instead of cookies and cream ice cream. My mom, I don't think that she liked it. She said that she did not like the ingredients that they used. I mean, I'm sure it would have been nice because, like, I didn't try it, but, like, I'm, I'm sure that it would have been, but, like, who knows? 
and like the saddest thing because like I did enjoy it right because like this is like the same place that I had gotten the ambrosia ice cream and that, that was delicious I love that um but there was this other dude that made it that made the ambrosia one and he used gloves and he was very nice and he actually knew what I was what we were talking about when we actually ordered it um and when the dude was working there and he made it he did it in like two minutes or like less than two minutes. he made it like really quickly and he used tongs to put the stuff on but this and the lady she did not wash her hands and she was dealing with a lot of money and stuff and she was like sneezing and not the most hygiene but, but I'm disappointed because my mom said that we can never go back there again and that's like my favorite ice cream place Yes, I have only had ice cream there once before, last week, but it's still my favourite because that Ambrosia ice cream was really delicious, and I have not had ice cream in months, and that was the first time I had uh, had ice cream in a long time, but that's okay. Um, and then we went home, and I did some roller skating. And then we watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine, my mom and I. And then my mom, she was just like, oh, let's make patty cakes. And then I was just like, okay. And so we made some patty cakes. But I didn't eat any. They're just in the cupboard. My mom had a few, and I'm sure my dad will have some. But I don't really like... Well, actually, no, I, I would eat them. But I just don't feel like it because I'm still sick. And also I, I, f I feel like I'm letting myself go a bit. Because you see, ever since my treadmill broke and my mom threw away the scales, I just don't feel like myself. I, I know that it sounds kind of bad and whatnot, but I feel like I have just been snacking too much and having too much confectionery, especially considering that I already had a Sunday today. I did not want to have a patty cake. Even though they looked, they had pink icing. I love pink icing and sprinkles, and they were vanilla flavored. They were really tasty. Well, actually, no, they looked really tasty. I don't know if they are actually. I asked my mom about it, and she said that they were okay. Um, tomorrow we're having lasagna for dinner. I'm looking forward to that. Um. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all nice updates. Bye-bye.